One of my favorite YouTube channels is The History Guy. If you've never seen him, check it out. I love history. I've studied history almost my entire life, from about 16 years old. I just love history. So as a nod to him, I'm going to steal his catchphrase. Today I want to talk about the Battle of Boyacá. Why? Because today is August 7th, the anniversary of that battle. And it's history that deserves to be remembered. Simon Bolivar had been going around through Colombia at the time known as New Granada, attacking the Spanish. And he and his forces had a marginal victory in what's called the Vargas Swamp Battle. The Spanish forces took off towards Bogota, which was the capital. It was a race because Simon Bolivar and all of his people also took off. The thing is that uh, Simon Bolivar took a path that was unexpected. The Spanish and their allies took 18 minutes per kilometer. Simon Bolivar and his troop took 14 minutes per kilometer. So they arrived much sooner than was expected and they caught up with the Spanish at the bridge of Boyacá. It was a small bridge, but it was a critical bridge. It was a choke point. So there was a vanguard of the Spanish that was out in the front and then there was a rear guard and there was about a mile between them. And the re rear guard thought that they had at least an hour or so to rest up, and so that's what they did. They were resting up. It had been a long, hard march to the Andes Mountains. What they did not expect was for Simon Bolivar to pop up with his troops so quickly. Bolivar had his troops hit both flanks, both the left and right flanks. It boxed them in with crossfire. So the Spanish had cannons, they had all their infantry, but being caught off guard and being caught flanked on both sides, there was nothing they could do under the heavy fire and they surrendered. There was about 1,600 Spanish that surrendered. They then went and attacked the vanguard. The vanguard quickly fell. In this battle, Bolivar's troops only lost 13 men, whereas the Spanish lost over 100. And of course, there were a number of casualties. This was a decisive battle for it allowed Simon Bolivar to take control of the capital of New Granada and from that day on, Spain no longer controlled Colombia. But here's to the George Washington of Colombia.